Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be looking at RPITX version 2. Now RPITX is an application which will run on your Raspberry Pi which will turn it into a transmitter. Now F5OEO has created this new version, version 2, which gives you a really nice menu. So you can select a few different transmitting modes with examples. So today I'm going to show you how to install it on your Raspberry Pi and also go through each of the testing. Now the equipment that we're going to be using will be a Raspberry Pi Zero uh, wireless version and I'm also going to be using SDR Uno with an SDR play receiver for viewing and receiving the transmissions from the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is install the application but we just need to do a couple of updates first. The first is to do sudo apt-get update And the second thing we need to do here is sudo apt dash get install install git. Now yours may already be updated and you may already have git installed, just like mine here, and it was very, very quick. So what we now need to do is clone RPITX to our local Pi. And the way we do this is we type git clone then the address github.com forward slash f5 oeo forward slash rpi tx okay so once it's cloned we can now go ahead and install it so i'll type cd rpi tx to change directory into the rpi tx folder and we type decimal point forward slash install dot sh now what's going to happen here it's going to go off and downloaded all the needed packages to compile this application okay so the installation has now completed successfully so we now need to do a reboot so i'm going to do sudo reboot so we just have to wait a couple of seconds and then we can go to restart session which should then give us the login as so i'm just going to log back into my raspberry pi and we're back at the command prompt okay so i'm now going to cd or change directly into rpi tx i'm going to run a script called easy test so decimal point forward slash easy test dot sh now it first asks you for the frequency that you want the Raspberry Pi to transmit on. So I'm going to pick 434.500, which is in the middle of the amateur ham band. I'm a licensed ham radio operator, so I can transmit here. And I'm going to press enter. So once you've set the frequency, you're going to be taken into the main menu. Now from here, we can activate any of these by using the arrow keys on my keyboard, uh, selecting it so it highlights in red and then press enter. What will happen is it will transmit on the frequency that you've chosen, the mode that you've selected. So we've got here tune, chirp, spectrum. Uh, we've got RF my face, FM RDS, narrow FM, SSB AM, 3DV, SSTV, POXAG, and Opera, which it says there's like Morse, but you need an Opera decoder. So let's go ahead and load up my SDR Uno, which is my SDR receiver software. So let's go through some of these items on the list here and see what they do. So the first one is called Tune. And when I hit enter on there, it will just transmit a dead carrier on the frequency that we've chosen. Simply press enter to stop it transmitting and return to the menu. And the second one on the list is called Chirp. This says it's a moving carrier. As you can see here on the waterfall and on the SDR software, it's pulsing a RF signal up the frequency band. That looks pretty cool on the uh, on the waterfall there. As before, just press enter to stop. Now the next one is Spectrum, which is Spectrum Painting. Now what this is supposed to do is transmit an image so that it displays in the waterfall. Now I couldn't quite get mine right. I'd imagine you probably have to play around with uh, the bandwidth that you're looking at and also the speed. You can kind of make out something there, but uh, this is what it should look like according to the documentation. 
So the next one we're going to look at is FM RDS. So we need to put our SDR receiver software into wide FM or stereo wide FM so that we can actually hear the stereo signal. Uh, just press enter and as you can see on the screen we now have a stereo transmission and if you listen you'll be able to hear that the sample audio that's being played will play in your left speaker and then your right speaker. Pi FM RDS left channel Pi FM RDS right channel Pi FM RDS left channel Pi FM RDS right channel and if we bring up the RDS information window from the STR package we can see that the RDS data is actually being transmitted and has been decoded by STR Uno so the next one on the list here is NFM and NFM stands for narrow frequency modulation. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. So the next one on the list is SSB and this is going to be broadcasting in upper sideband. So let's take a listen to see what that sounds like. A proposition that all men are cre created equal. Now, now we are engaged in a great, great civil war. Testing whether, whether that nation or any, any nation and so can conceived and so, so dedicated it. Okay, so upper sideband sounded a little bit strange. It sounded like it was doubling. I have noticed that sometimes if you're doing a few of these tests, you'll need to do a reboot. So just type in sudo reboot on the console uh, and then it will play fine the next time you try it. Now the next one in the list is AM, which is Amplitude Modulation. It does say in the README file for version 2 of RPITX that AM transmissions can sound a little bit poor quality. Let's take a listen. Okay, so AM did actually sound pretty rough and you probably would never use it. So the next one on the list is called 3DV. Now 3DV is an application, the DV part stands for digital voice. It allows you to encode and decode a digital signal which is being transmitted. Now this is used primarily on ham radio bands and I've used it myself on HF and it works extremely well. So let's have a little listen to see what the audio quality is like with RPITX transmitting and the 3DV application decoding to normal audio. Kilo five, Quebec, Italy, Victor Kilo five, Quebec, Italy, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Well, there we go, guys. That's a brief overview of version two of RPITX with this nice, fancy new menu. There's still a couple of other types of transmission that's available. I'll let you guys go and have a play around with them. That's uh, SSTV Poxag and also Morse code. Now RPITX version 2 also comes with another script. This other script is a menu for controlling your Raspberry Pi when you've got an SDR receiver plugged into it as well. So watch out for my next video as it's going to be covering that and the cool things that you'll be able to do with that including replay attack and a kind of repeater mode. Until the next video guys take care and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>